Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I am upgrading a huge site from 3.6.10 to 3.7.7 so that I can upgrade it to 3.9.1. It's a huge site, and it's taking a long time, but I'm not giving up, and it's going to be done in a few hours. So stay with me. Right now, so far, we've gone up to, I think it's almost ready, up to log store standard. So I'm just waiting for the continue to show up so I can click on the continue. Even though I put moodleforteachers.org under maintenance, it's showing site is being upgraded. Please try later. That's something that I have no control over. But I tried. I didn't want something like this to show up because I think it's not really pleasant to get this when you try to go into the site. It's much easier to get a message about maintenance. For me, a personal message, which was there, and you'll see it in a minute. So there it is. This is what it currently looks like. The site is undergoing maintenance. That's something that's there by default. And my message is a little more personal. I just want to remind everybody that wants to upgrade their Moodle site from 3.6 to 3.9, that you need to change the theme to make sure that the theme is compatible with 3.9 and change it before the upgrade. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess. Now, notice what's happening. The upgrade is stuck. So I waited long enough, and then I went into the site, and it opened up, which means that it has been upgraded, but I don't really see it here, which is fine because it's reached the last um, upgrade there. Notice um, it's opening up, and um, this is probably from what it looks like and um, I'll fix the yeah it is it is uh, 3.7 I can see because the boost theme I will fix that since I resorted to Fortson if you're interested um, I think Fortson is absolutely amazing and it's completely free I highly uh, recommend it it's pretty easy to use let me know if you have any questions about it and I'll be happy to help. I've uh, already added it. Notice the registration has been changed so you might want to register your site but since I'm going back and I'm going to upgrade it to 3.9.1 so let me do that before I do any kind of registration since uh, there's no point in doing it twice. So as you can see I'm back to creating a backup. I'm using Softiculus. It's going to take less time this time, but um, I'm ready for anything. It took two hours. Well, just about two hours. This is a huge set, as I said. So I'm not surprised. There are lots of plugins. It's a site where teachers get a chance to practice and learn to teach online using Moodle, completely free. So that's how it goes. I'm going to wait around until it goes up to 95, and then I'll be able to um, continue with whatever I'm doing online. It's a process, and it does take time. If you've got a site that has a lot of plugins, I think that's the major reason. Also, the theme. I had a theme, I had Essential, which I really, really liked, but since Essential is uh, not compatible with 3.7 and up, it went up to 3.6.10. Great job. Sorry. I had to let it go. It took me a while to let it go because it was hard. I enjoyed working with it so much, but I think Fortson just as good and the boost is amazing so i'm up to 95 stay tuned for the rest of the upgrade as i said if your site's really big you can continue waiting for it it will finally be shown here in your c panel under softiculus 
but um, I like to uh, hurry things up, which is what I do. So um, let me go to the site. All right. And um, this is the site. Just going to um, see what's going on here by trying to move it along. I've already tried it actually on my phone and I noticed that uh, things have moved along. So it is at the next stage and I can continue with the upgrade. So here it is and I'm ready to go. So uh, 3.9.1 for this huge site. Well, this is going to take some time as well. So yeah, it took an hour plus and um, notice these things are not compatible, but that's fine because it says your server environment meets all the minimum. So it's okay to have these not checked off. All right, now this is going to take some time, so get ready for that. But we're getting there and we will get there. Uh, how do I know? Well, I had another huge site that I upgraded and it worked, so I'm hopeful that there shouldn't be any problems. If I got from 3.610 to 3.77, I'm optimistic that things will work out and you will be seeing 3.9.1 very soon. It's a good idea. It's uh, almost a requirement to upgrade your Moodle versions. Don't stay behind and don't do what I did. Don't let a theme keep you back. You'll find another theme. And as I said, Fordson is amazing. Rem, you, I is also really good. It costs a bit per year, but that shouldn't hold you back. It's, it's a nice uh, theme as well. I have it on one of my sites and I like it. This is the site. MoodleMooks.com. You can take a look. This is where I provide free training for managers of a Moodle site. Everyone here is a manager and they do whatever managers do. And it's a practice site. You might be interested in uh, trying things out here and see if you like Edwiser REM UI. So uh, here we are, but I think I've reached that stage. Be careful not to open too many. Notice I've opened this one. You don't want to go through it again. So let me delete that because uh, if you do, you're going to be stuck with uh, all kinds of upgrades. So stick to one and bear with it. Don't go from one to the other. So as I said, this will take some time. You need to get to L lock something or other from what you saw before and then you're good to go. I just want to remind you in case you reloaded the page and you get this message, don't worry, it's being upgraded in the background and you should be fine. Okay, so uh, let's continue with the upgrade. Okay, I did start and restart and the reload and so we're starting all over again. Well, not really all over, but yes, all over. <laughs> So yeah, if you play around with it and interfere with it, it'll take longer. If you don't have patience, um, like me, then uh, you have to wait longer. Okay, so I see it's continuing. We're on Q. So it's continuing where it left off. That's not a big deal. And we need to get the end. So be patient. You will get there. It's just a question of time. So uh, the log store standard is uh, the last plugin. So it should be coming up real soon. So that's what you should look for. And there's the magic continue, <laughs> what I've been waiting for. So we click on continue and we are ready. This is absolutely amazing. I'm going to get everyone back on the site. We have um, over 16,000 right now. There are over 200 who are actively engaged in the courses and I'm sure they want to get back. So this is the last stage 
Okay, everything is fine here. I'm not setting anything up. Okay, so uh, let's continue. You know, now you can send your feedback to Moodle Net Central, which is really nice. You can also have your own app and you pay a little bit, but you get your own app. Mobile app, I highly recommend it. Otherwise, you can use the site on your phone without having the app. The app is really not a requirement, but it's nice to have your own app. So as you can see, things are coming up. And here we are, registration again, even though we've upgraded. So we're going to go to upgrade. Don't forget to agree. I don't know what I'm agreeing to, but hopefully it's good things. Okay, lots of statistics there if you're interested in how your users are using it. Okay, so there we are. Now we're ready. So let me go into maintenance mode and free everybody up. It's been uh, two hours. Yep. Let's disable this. And that's it. Save changes and people should be back. I'm going to be working on the slider and the market, the course market, so I can add the courses, but Overall, the courses and everybody is, um, it sh they should be back.